Sarah Newitt recounted to the court the night her 11-year-old daughter Phoenix was shot. She said she recalled hearing a pop as the bullet shattered the car window and told the court she knew Phoenix had been shot because of the way the shooter, Nathan Campbell, lifted the 22 calibre rifle, the way her daughter fell and the blood on her face. The court heard earlier in the evening the pair had been shopping at Deloraine Woolworths. It was there Ms Newitt had a heated exchange followed by a physical altercation with Brianna Mansell, the partner of Mr Campbell. Ms Mansell admitted to starting the altercation when she saw a pocket knife in Ms Newitt's hand. But Ms Newitt said she didn't produce the weapon until after the fight had begun. Ms Mansell told the jury after staff broke up the fight, Ms Newitt threatened her, before calling her brother, Zachary Newitt. Ms Mansell said she then returned home to Stag Court and told her partner about the fight. Mr Newitt later told the jury his sister said she was attacked by a woman and her boyfriend. On the way home with Phoenix in the car, they visited Stag Court, idling at the intersection of Moriarty Street. Mr Newitt said he went with the intent to get more information but was open to the possibility of a fight. Two neighbours described to the jury hearing a heated argument during which Ms Newitt yelled the words pedophile and we will rape your daughter. Ms Newitt and her brother both deny that, but said some obscenities were yelled when they saw Mr Campbell. After Phoenix was shot, Mr Newitt drove her to the Deloraine Hospital before she was transported to the LGH and then to the Melbourne Royal Children's Hospital where the 11-year-old stayed for seven weeks. The jury was also shown a video of Mr Campbell's police interview the day after he shot Phoenix. He said he was ashamed of having hurt her and that when he fired the weapon he was aiming for the side of the car and did so after a group of people turned up with bats and threatened his family. The trial continues. Holly Corbett, Wind News.